Hello, Hello in a mess. mess. I'm Liam. And I'm Colton. Welcome, Welcome to, to Good, Good Day, Day in a mess. mess. Today is Friday, February 23rd, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Attention, salute, pledge. Please pause for a moment of silence. Today's weather will be mostly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 33. Today's lunch is pizza or barbecue chicken sandwich. Here are your school announcements. E-Learning Day will be Wednesday, February 28th. Read Across America will be February 26th through March 1st. The next school store will be on Friday, March 1st. Kona Ice Day will be on Friday, March 8th. Spring Break will be March 11th through 15th. Report cards will go home on March 21st. On February 23rd, 1836, the attack on Alamo began in San Antonio, Texas. This battle was fought while Texas was trying to gain the, its independence from Mexico. The, Texan, the Texans lost but later gained their independence. A woman passionate about learning, Marva Collins, received her early education in Atmore, Alabama a town where the segregated school system provided very few resources for African-American students. Marva eventually attended Clark College in Atlanta and after graduation returned to Alabama. She taught for two years in the Alabama school system before moving to Chicago where she worked in the public school system for 14 years. Frustrated by the Chicago public schools low standards, Collins decided to open her own school in 1975 on the second floor of her home, naming it the Westside Preparatory School. The first students included her son, her daughter, and several neighborhood children, some of which were considered learning disabled. At the end of the first year, every student scored at least five grades higher on their standardized tests. Soon, Collins' success attracted national attention. She and the Westside Preparatory School were profiled by 60 Minutes, Good Morning America, Time, and Newsweek, and were the subject of a television movie, The Marva Collins Story. Her achievements prompted President Ronald Reagan to offer her the post of Secretary of Education, which she declined in order to continue the development of Westside Preparatory School. Today's word of the day is chock-a-block. Definition, when a space is crammed or crowded. My closet is a chock-a-block right now. Chock-a-block. Chock -block.
What did the dentist say to the golfer? What? What? You have a hole in one. Here are this week's NMS shoutouts. Last week's Student of the Week, February 12th through February 16th. Carson Shockley, fourth grade, Miss Faith. <laughs> Student of the Week, February 12th through 16th. Lily Gerard, fourth grade, Miss Borgert's class. Whose birthday is it today? Happy birthday! Or oh, this weekend. Whoops. <laughs> Happy birthday!